See this? This is going to be my first one. And if he tries to hit me, it doesn't matter. Look, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. He's got, he's got next to nothing before this ends. So what's the first thing you should do when you find yourself in a survival situation? Well, you could start with picking up a stick. A stick can make an excellent weapon. And having something is better than having nothing. So I'm here at the Fighting Arts Club with Sean Zerger, founder of Zerger Academy of Martial Arts, and also a founder of the Fighting Arts Collective. And today, Sean's going to tell us a little bit about stick fighting. The, stick, the sticks are a really versatile weapon. Normally, it represents any other type of weapon you want, but as a stick, it's very effective using the base of the stick to hit with. This is probably your most penetrating hit. Uh, it's going to be very strong, but it's hard to reach. Uh, and you have to stick your arm in there right into the fight to, to, to land this. However, you have this nice shield, so you can block a lot of stuff, you can, you can keep free of, of attacks coming in. And then you have the very fast part for when you're swinging. So this is great when it's just a stick for attacking the bones and the joints. So, you know, attacking, uh, you know, bridge of the nose, all the hollow bones around here, attacking the elbows, the shoulder tips, the knees. It's also really good as a lever. So if you're trying to break joints, or if you're trying to throw, uh, or if you're trying to choke or strangle, very effective. Some of the fundamentals that I would teach someone that had no experience with stick. The first thing would be the grip. I want to hold with my fingertips and then close my thumb over top of the fist. I want to have a neutral wrist. For blunt weapons, I want to keep this solid as possible. Most of the work is going to come from the elbow and then from the shoulder. So you get here and then you break. Yeah, you keep the wrist here and then turn it like you're swinging a hammer. I want to hit everything like I'm hitting with a hammer uh, so that the force is actually going in a straight line out from the tip, which will be the fastest moving part. The other hardest moving part will be here hitting like a hammer with my forearm, where my forearm becomes the hammer. And with the stick, or the other way. Oh, now reach under his arm and grab your stick. There yes. you go. Yeah, now turn the other way. Hit him on the way through. Good, drop to your knee. I can also grip the stick in both hands, which gives me thrusting and cross-checking abilities. Do it again. Yes, nice. Oh, that was very, very good. That's it. Now, Turner. Good. Now, pull your weapon out. Now, hit. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Turn him. Good. Good. So the next thing that's really important about stick is power generation. And there's a couple things you need to know. One is getting torque. So you, the first place you're gonna get torque is from your spine. This is gonna come from your feet and turning, turning your body. So if I turn my body and let the arm extend, that's going to add torque to whatever I can get out of this hammer motion. So I can torque this way and torque that way. I can torque into this hammer blow with the butt of the stick and I can torque into blows with the tip of the stick. Don't want to hit so much with the middle because I'll break my stick, but then I'd have a knife. So that would be okay. So uh, the other thing is natural orbits. If I swing hard, the stick's going to want to carry through it, so I'm going to let the momentum carry through. There you go, see, and that momentum carries on through to here, and it carries on through to here, and it carries back on the base, right? So I can cut my C this way, or I can cut my C this way, and, and then reverse, see? So, so if I come in here, boom, bam, I'm going to hit him here. I'm going to take out the knees, see, I take out the knees, take out the head. So natural orbits and what I would do is I would just tell the person to keep swinging heavier and heavier sticks until it was easy to swing. Thanks so much for your patience with me today, Sean, and for awesome. incorporating you in your class.
If you're interested in martial arts of any kind, check out the Fighting Arts Collective. They have JKD, Filipino martial arts, CLAT, traditional Wing Chun, European martial arts, which include wrestling, archery, dagger play, and sword play, also karate and sistema, even kettlebells, and all kinds of calisthenics. Don't forget to check out www.getreadyarchery.com and be sure to watch our whole series of survival tip videos. And remember, if you ever find yourself in a survival situation, pick up a stick.